Hey Deckers and welcome to The Planet Crafter. Huge thanks to Black Suit for sending me early access to this. Apologies for not hitting the release date but I was away and also massively engrossed in this game. I was originally going to put this in a performance roundup but I've been playing it so much I felt it needed its own video. So what is it about? First of all you crash into a very barren planet as a punishment it seems with the goal of terraforming this bleak world. Now, this has so many different aspects of the game. I'll try and cover a few of the main points, but after 10 hours of playing, it definitely deserves its verified status. And one thing to note, go into your controller options and bind one of the back buttons or a button that you can get to, to F4. This will get you unstuck if you accidentally build yourself into a corner or trap yourself in a biodome like I did, because I misplaced where it was, but with F4, you'll be able to get yourself out of there. Now this does also have online gameplay, but I haven't managed to find anybody as it's invite only to test this out with, but you will whittle away the hours very quickly on this one. As you can see, performance bounces around a bit. This is on the very high preset. I found with the highest or ultra, it did bounce around a little bit too much, but even with very high graphics and quite a lot of stuff going on, as you'll see, we don't really dip down below the 40 range, but we do sit around the 22 to 23 watt range. So you're only going to get about two and a half hours battery at best. Also, as you will lose track of time in this, especially when you start building rockets and other bits and pieces, you do want to make sure you have something like the Decky Loader critical battery plugin. Otherwise, you will forget and get a random autosave somewhere as your deck shuts down on you. As you can see, this game progresses quite quickly. Went through blue sky to clouds and then I can start building rockets. But what I didn't realize initially when I sent one of these rockets up is I didn't quite read the description as it sends asteroids your way. First one did hit me in the face, which is an interesting achievement by the way. As you can see, we dip down into the 40s when asteroids start hitting, but we can also send up GPS satellites. Again, minor dips into the 30s there, but overall, you're not really paying attention to that. You're just in awe of a lot of the stuff that's going on around you. Oh, by the way, it is survival, so make sure that you remember to eat and fill up your oxygen canisters and get some water as well as you're finding things. Otherwise, you do run out of oxygen. Fortunately, in standard mode, you just drop half your inventory and you can go and find it again. But if you do play on the higher difficulties, then then you will end up losing everything and if you weren't keeping track of where you're going because you don't have a compass by default that's actually something you have to build then you might not remember exactly where you died and it can be a little bit difficult tracking things down again now as you can see i have been playing this quite some time and i'm well on my way to making lakes my terraformation actually over 12 militant mark now but what you find is you end up just building mini bases everywhere as you go out exploring, finding new sections. Rather than traveling all the way back, you can just rebuild a base or build a mini base for stuff in that area to then manage as you flick between them. You can see I'm moving around quite fast here. I've actually got jetpack and other bits and pieces now, and I'm still only scratching the surface of this game. So performance on deck is extremely addictive. It actually plays better here than on some of the other handhelds, bouncing between 40 and 60, but sticking around that 60 FPS for the most part. Highly recommend this one. Let us know in the comments below if you have dived in yet what your playtime is and what your biggest achievement is that you've built so far. If people are interested, we can invite people into the world when we're playing. So either drop your invite codes in the comments below or express your interest. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.